Um, how long have you known this woman for, sir? Uh, about a couple of years now. Yeah. Okay, okay. That's my wife, sir. That's your wife? That is my wife. That's my wife, sir. What's going on, guys? You already know it's your boy, M to the A to the C to the K A Y vibes, and I'm back again with another video. We're still doing a cheater video, but this time around is a little bit different. This one is even crazier, like more crazy. It's gonna blow your mind. This time around, it was a cop that got cheated on by his wife. Let's react to this together. But before we go any further, please be sure to like, comment, share, subscribe, turn on post notifications, all that good stuff. Thanks for love and support. Let's get to the video. Crazy. Women fear women. License and registrations, please. Wow. Uh, sir, in this car, can you please step out of the vehicle onto the left? So can you just imagine you being a cop, right? And then... <laughs> You stop a car, right? You stop a car just for traffic violation. And then you now see that your wife is beside the person that was stopped. What would you do? So the entire time that you're at work, you know, the entire time that you're walking, you're walking your ass off. Your wife is busy with someone else, right? You see why I always say, I tell my friends this, right? When I get married, when I eventually get married and I'm working, my wife has to work. There's no way you're just going to sit at home saying, eh, housewife. No, you have to work. We are working together to achieve a, a goal. That's how it's going to be. We are partners. I'm not going to be slaving outside for you and then you're out. What are you going to be doing if you're not working? Let's continue the video, man. Hey, partner. Uh, I've got this one. Uh, both of please. Just on the left side. Man. This is sad. Can you please face the vehicle and put your hands where I can see them? You too, ma'am. He already knows that's his wife. Have you been drinking tonight, sir? Uh, no, sir. Can I please get you to come over here? And can you please stand and go in a straight line and put one foot in front of the other? Ah, yes. Um, how long have you known this woman for, sir? Uh, about a couple years now. Yeah. Okay, okay. That's my wife, sir. That's your wife? That is my wife. That's my wife, sir. So, I'm guessing this woman decided to go out with this guy because he has a, is that a Ferrari? Because he has a nice car. Why your husband is out there working? Is working hard so he can bring money back home and you guys can be happy. And then you think this is what he deserves. You think this is what he deserves. And women keep talking about men cheating all the time. Like y'all don't do it. Why? What do you think? What, okay, what do you think will happen to this man now? And then when men say they want to stop trusting women, you will start saying, hey, why now? There are a lot of women out there that can still be trusted. So what do you think will happen to this guy? Don't you think that that will actually mess up his trust for women in general? Just because of a nice car. Obini Buru, women. Fear women. Let's continue. Really? Wow, I had no idea. I don't know what to say. Really? I'm at a loss for words. Can you please stand back near your vehicle, sir? I can't believe this. But I like the fact that the, the officer was really calm. And I said this in one of my previous videos, right? It's always good to stay calm in this type of situation. There's no reason being aggressive, you know, over a, a cheating a cheating woman. A ho She's a th There's no reason to be aggressive. It's always good to it's always good to stay calm. You know? We've seen videos online where men would just start, you know, just start beating the other man or start trying to attack him. No, you don't need all, no, no, you don't need any of that. I like the fact that it's always good. I'm an advocate for that. Always stay calm in situations like this. Of course, if I'm in that type of situation, let's just say I'm the cop. That's going. That's the end of the relationship. That's the end of it. There's really nothing else to say. 
you know, just pack your bags, leave. Let's continue. Right. So I'm going to need you to go back in your vehicle and you can leave. Let me go. Yes, yes, sir. You can leave before I get angry. Grab this stuff. Yeah, that's fine. Before I get angry. I just want to say before I go, we are both victims of her games. Don't worry, mate. It's not your fault. You're not the married woman who made Tinder. No worries, mate. And that's true. Just what the guy said, we're both victims of your of, of our games. So it's so clear that the other guy, the guy she's cheating with, does not even know that she, she she's married. Like, you see how evil some women can be? Ah, oh girl. Like, who can be trusted in this world, man? So you've been playing two guys just because of Ferrari. Just because of money. Money is not everything now. Eh? Money is important, but it's not everything. It's your line. How could you do this to me? Drives off. Wasted seven years on this. You know what? Oh, you can call your mum and she can come pick you up wherever the hell we are. Yeah, I'm dead serious. Oh, so you're asking him if he's serious. No, he's not serious. He's playing. Or oh, dead. Are you serious? After... Ah, God. Where do you they find? You they find this thing, this bola. So the bola we your husband they give you, he no reach you, Abby. You're not satisfied with, with, the, with, the, with the stain that's given to you. With that, with that thing, you're not satisfied with that thing. And then if you're not satisfied with that thing, you just have to let him know that you're not satisfied with that thing. It's better to actually get a divorce. Go your separate ways instead of doing this. How many times are we going to keep saying it? I don't understand how, how people are just comfortable doing this, man. There's this husband and wife. Oh. There's no, no be boyfriend and girlfriend. This is, not, this is not a boyfriend, girlfriend type of situation. This husband and wife. Your man is a cop. What that's what is even the that's the most painful thing in this in this entire situation, bro. The fact that he's a cop. You know, cops, it's not easy being a cop. It's not easy. And with the way I'm looking at this type of situation, right? It looks like the woman is not working. She it looks like she doesn't have a job. For her to have enough time to be you know, playing these two guys like this. Oh, I'll be all right, boys. Wow, you'll be all right, man. Man, hmm. what else? What else is there to say? Now, seven years. Now you've lost. You've lost both the Ferrari man and your man, the cop. You've lost both of them. So where are you gonna go from there? Or maybe she might have some other men out there that she is, you know, saying she's banging. That's clapping her, clapping her cheeks. I don't know how some women get comfortable doing that and they just act innocent. Ah, uh, I know they do anything, yo. I know they do anything, yo. But are you they doing pass? You do it the most. Man, I don't know, man. I don't know what else to say. But y'all need to change. Y'all women that do stuff like this, especially married women, you need to change your ways. It's not cool. It ain't cool, boy. It ain't cool. And hey, before I go, guys, please be sure to follow me on Instagram. I'm going to leave, you know, my Instagram page over here so you can follow me at Make Vibes. Send videos that you would love me to react to to my DMs. And I'm going to be, I'm going to reply to your DMs for sure, for sure. As long as you stay respectful, though, you know, I respect you, respect me. But just send it to my, to my DM on uh, Instagram, Make Vibes. I'll take a look at them and then I'm very glad to react to these videos for y'all. So let me know. Send the videos. Just keep going crazy in my DMs. You know what I'm saying? Send it. Send it. Send it. Thank you guys. <laughs> take care.